All right, basic materials, we got B-A-S-Y, or S-F-Y, excuse me. Um, we brought our, we drew our line in the sand last week. Let's see, comparative, where are we? Uh, I mean, we're above it. Um, again, don't forget, this is Gap City, so just be careful. This is kind of like R-E-O, or R-I-O, excuse me. Um... Again, it, it doesn't really trade options. So, I mean, if you want to hold on, hold on. Uh, I, again, I say anything above 1889 is a buy. With 1889 is really just like the get out. Um, I, I don't know what happened here. We were looking amazing. And then all of a sudden, we just basically just uh, from Monday to Tuesday, we dropped like 4%. So just be careful. Uh, Long-term growth, I see. BASF, great, but as in the me in the intern and a medium, I uh, I'm not very impressed. Mosaic, all right, I can deal with this. Um, we're above the 50, which I like to see. Uh, I don't like how we dropped below the 50, all right. As in, what is this, Tuesday, Tuesday and Monday? No, 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 this is, two, this is Wednesday, excuse me. On last Wednesday and Tuesday, how we dipped below. And then Thursday, we popped up, which is nice to see. Oh, well, we also had dividend rest. But it's only $0.07, cents, so that's really not, I don't see how we dropped that much on dividend risk. However, um... I would like to see to get above this 50% of the larger trend. If we can get above there, I'd be a buyer. But until we can, well, I, I mean, if you're aggressive, right here is a buyer. And you know if it drops below 32, um, get out. But anywhere, because we are making a higher low, right? We got stopped out right here. But it's, I mean, we're still making a higher low, right? So I would say next target, the breakout right here. Let me draw a line so you see what I'm talking about. The breakout of this teal line right here if we can break above that i'd feel more confident to retake the 3446 and then head up to the 35 up to the 3745 international paper yeah here we go i like this we're banging on the hundred percent uh if we oh we broke the 100% on Friday and then got rejected to the 7786. Seven, if we can hold that 786, then I see us breaking above the 100%, this 100%, headed to the 612, headed to the six, to this major 100% mark over here, which is the extension. Uh, this is the retracement 100%. This is the extension. Um, yeah, as because we, like I said, we landed above. Anything above 78.6 of the short term and 78.6 of the long term, I would be a buyer of IP. Just keeping that out there. Uh, above 60.30, then I truly am a buyer looking to 61.12. Dow Chemical. Mm. I mean, the last week was beautiful. I mean, it's not last week. This last week was every was five straight red days, which makes sense. We we broke or we hit target and we got rejected Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. <clears throat> Excuse me. As long as we can buy or stay above the longer trend, right? The six one eight of this longer trend, I would be a buyer as we're right above it right now. Uh, I would just be very careful because we did kind of pull back hard uh below the 50 so i just keep that in mind it's below the 50 so technically it's more of in a bear than a bull but long term we're more in the bull because we're above the 618 dupont or dupont no no looking terrible um yeah looking well, if you are in verse and you're looking for it to continue down, then 7001 would be target. Let's try to stay uh, below the 100% mark. But this is kind of frustrating as a couple days ago we were 
right at the 75 level looking pretty a little poised to go higher and uh it just did not happen and we're looking to roll over more now um like i said target probably seven seventy ten. rio tinto um just disappointing really disappointed like we were literally right here uh three weeks ago and now we've dropped 10 points or really 13 points well about 11 points rather uh to the downside um until we get above this teal line i am not paying this any attention i would be almost worried that this would go down <coughs> however this is a, a very volatile gapper so be very careful with this as we see it's looking great and then out of nowhere we drop like nine points so just be very careful Lundell Bissell not looking pretty at all nah um say so next target would be be the two two three six uh down to ninety one eighty one not looking not looking good at all uh let's go Scott's Miracle Grow all right like uh if you remember a few weeks ago I said if you were overzealous or extremely uh risk adverse don't want or risky rather risk adverse you don't want risk but risk if you want to go gamble right here would have been your perfect time 817 we'd had a, about a nine point gain um we we're making a higher low right here to here much higher low uh again i if you're aggressive go ahead but i would like to see it above this 161 and hold it before coming up to the 72 so we have a single print right here one horrible day which means we could have uh we could have some retracement back up into those numbers so let's just keep this in mind let's draw ourselves a trend line so there you go kind of creating a wedge so Let's keep in mind of your trend line and that we're going to have we have a lot of resistance here so eventually it's going to break above or below hopefully like i said it breaks above but it very well could break a low <coughs> excuse me um eco lab i like eco lab looking good i know we had a nasty day friday but for overall we're looking pretty decent poised to go up to the 230 i wouldn't be surprised if we came back to the 222 which is only about three dollars away and then head up to the 230 but we also did already kind of come back and almost touched the teal line and then just overpowered on well actually this is an engulfing kind of bearish engulfing so like again just be careful 22 back up to 30 sure when will yums this has just been a massive stock it's beautiful um yeah i mean we just hit a brand high brand new high on thursday or friday uh just be careful um since we did just hit this high be careful for us to maybe come down to the 302 level i don't see this as being like the big turning point and all of a sudden we just crash and never come back we're steady making higher lows. Um, I'd say gather itself and 312 would be target. 